enough to survive the trials? Got it this time. I nailed it. Well, it's coming up, man. You don't know. I started Whoa. talking when everything was dark. I'm getting better. Somebody. Lawrence doesn't know the difference between like studio lights and then a fade up from black, right. uh -huh. like within video. And so he's like, why is it so dark in here? But it's just a black screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me staring at the wall. Yeah. Not a lot of people know this. Uh, people often ask, are these fake glasses? Because I leave them everywhere and I don't wear them a lot. The truth is, uh, if I don't wear them, I see about that much of my surroundings. So, you know, it's I'd really easy to The, the prescription is not strong. No, it's not. Well, that's the thing. People that people that don't have strong prescriptions often wear glasses more because they can survive with or without them, and so they kind of like throw them on and throw them off. If you need vision, like I need vision, like you put lenses in your eyeballs and then you just keep them there all day. Hmm. Or you get lasers. Or you get lasers, you just fire them out of your eyes. You, I, I find it's easier just to have perfect vision from birth. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that must be easy. Yeah, yeah. they handed nice. me the questionnaire when I was in the womb, and I ticked the wrong box. Yeah, so, yeah. Got, got this. Wait, can mess. I address you? Like twenty thirty is a bigger number than twenty twenty. That makes sense. That I was trying to bond as laser, laser brothers with. Oh, did you get LASIK too? Yeah. You oh, I didn't know that. Okay, laser yeah. Brothers. I don't. I don't really call it LASIK because I went to Koreatown, and I it, it was a it was a fifty fifty chance that the homeless man they were laser either. Pointer. They were either going to take my eyes, or they were going to fix them, hmm. so... Uh, but you know how they do it, right? How they do the LASIK? And, like, they chop your eyeball, like, in half? Like, cool. Kind of, not really. But then it heals immediately. Yeah, kind yeah. of, yeah, because yeah. it's like a thin layer, there's like the membrane right above the eye, so they put the suction cup on the eye. And the guy oh. explained it to me. Uh, it was in a language so I couldn't like understand. So it's like a machine recall? So, yanks the thing out of your brain? About, your eyes? Yeah. about five minutes ago, maybe more, Adam was saying, I heard a discussion once about two guys talking about the first time they agreed to have anal sex with each other. That's pretty weird, but I also think it's weird the first guy is like, I think if I cut your eye open and fired a laser into it, I could make everything better for you in your life. It kind and that of, person, what's, what's weirder is that guy who had that idea, the person's like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's go. Sure. Yeah, it seems like a no-brainer now, though. Yeah, it makes yeah, sense. Probably. Wait till they have laser anal sex. Oh. And that'd be a thing everybody does, and they're like, how did we get by with regular old anal sex? Yeah. Just imagine somebody... With like a Bond ray gun, they're like they're like angling it. Good, good, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like no, Mr. Kovic, I expect you to come. <laughs> <laughs> you got any topics uh, you want to talk yeah. about? <laughs> We're gonna talk about Star Wars because we have to. Yeah. Well, Mandate. That's the rule. We're yeah. on the internet. If you are not following hashtags, you are old and out of date. So Star Wars, you guys. Wow, sound excited. Yeah. Please. Well, well, Jeff was just telling us he showed his daughter. That was a cool story. Yeah, yeah she fucking she could just not give less of a shit. Ten, apparently. ten years old, it just doesn't give a fuck about anything. She, A, she said, where, wh wh why does Darth Vader look weird? And we had a whole conversation about how Darth Vader was dead. And then she said, where's the little green guy? <laughs> and I was like, he, you saw him die too. And <clears throat> she doesn't care. The puppet. <laughs> does she not process death well? Maybe. Yeah. No, she just doesn't give a shit. Uh, was yeah. she referring to the new villain, or was she referring to the smashed up helmet? She was referring to the new villain. Yeah. Okay. Because um, you know, he looks weird. Before we got to the weird smashed up helmet, mm. did she react to that at all, or was it just? It was like that. It was all like it was all like how you started so the, the show. Did, was, did she seem confused by things that were going on, or was she just like, I don't, I don't care? She. She see. I think it was more like, we're watching this on YouTube. But why isn't this Minecraft? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. A constant sense. problem that I have as well. We, Why isn't uh, this? Minecraft? But she wears the Princess Leia skin uh, in Minecraft and Which knows one? what it is. Well, but she, oh, like she does know what it is. Skin, oh, okay. On, on the more respectable one. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. Man, Jedi really ran the gamut of female representation. Didn't so it? we, uh, like, yeah, everyone in this room. Bruce is off to the side, uh, but he was also there. And then Michael. We all went into Bruce's hotel room last night. We crawled into bed. Basically, and it was. It, it was like a weird flashback to high school. Like, I, I remember, I, I remember having was like, out. "Well, no, it was just like weird sweet. EDM playing in the background." Yeah, well, you're welcome. Yeah, at one point, Lawrence he takes his phone off to the side, and he leaves some music playing, but it's just barely audible. And I think Michael goes, "Your phone's ringing," and he goes, "No, no, no, it's music." <laughs> I do that on purpose. It's a party. Uh, I made that noise. Yeah, happen. it was just like high school, where we all gathered around in our hotel room, and you put a Chromecast in the TV, like we did in high school. And well, watched listen, he's talking, about the okay. he's talking about shows the enthusiasm. About no, no, yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Ecstasy in the Navy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Lawrence always puts on weird stuff, but like... I have, I have a lot of hidden traditions. One is that I found this series of very, very gay movies. They're all prefixed with 1313. 
They were on Netflix for for a hot minute. What do you the mean? Year, they're, the mean year they're... that my Thanksgiving tradition started, uh, wait, wait. I watched. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean they're gay? Wait, what was that mean? They're, like, they're actual. They're super gay. Yeah, they're. Uh, they're and like, like, I mean, you've always watched like, uh, was it bad porn acting? And it's always like, oh, those are great. It's 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 not that explicit because it was on Netflix, but the series of movies, I think they were all filmed over the course of one weekend at some like <laughs> Hollywood Coke mansion because it's the same house in every mm -hmm. every movie. Uh, it's and, like a queer as folk type thing or something. Like that, oh or? no, God no! That 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 show has writing and dialogue. Uh, this is this dudes making out. The the first one I saw was thirteen thirteen Hercules Unleashed, and it was basically like a bunch of. Which, by the way, if you make some kind of Roman film, you basically have an excuse to have shirtless dudes walking around the whole time. And there was. But are they hugging? Like what's going? They on? did hug at one point. No, there was a. Uh, I think you're just projecting. It's like, it's like no. the Star Wars. It's like the first of all, Lawrence is not projecting. If you if you Google thirteen thirteen, it's not going to bring up Star Wars. Um, uh, but if it, it's yeah. basically like it's basically like Skinamax, right? Yeah, it's like Skinamax movies, but and there's always a it's shot. All, it's all gay men having sex. With they never have sex. It's implied. Oh, but, uh, oh. every mo I've seen enough of them. It's been three years, so I've seen three of them. Um, I'm starting to notice trends. One is that there's always a point where most of the cast is put in a diaper-like object, so a very puffy kind of white underoo sort of situation going on. Um, this happened in there. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank so you. here's oh, the amazing cool. thing. That is 90% of the film. There's a lot of just now. Oh, they're doing. Oh, hold on, <laughs> My okay. family just eats turkey. <sighs> well, I so pedestrian. Uh, Bruce wants us to know that when he Googled 1313, he still gets Star Wars 1313. But I think that's because Google knows him. Yeah. And doesn't want to get supply him with softcore gay well, pornography. Do you ever get that too? Where that's next up on the list. <gasps> yeah. I've heard of that. You have? Yeah. Wait, Wait. is that a 1313 film? I don't know. Uh, Welcome to the Lawrence podcast, where he thinks about things. Here was Billy the last year. How did we, Billy we don't talk about Star Wars. Hold on, how do we Hold get on. here from Star Wars? What does this have to do? Because we're talking oh, about how Lawrence puts on weird movies. Also, oh. yes, when I'm in a hotel room and people are drinking, I tend to put weird shit on the mm -hmm. TV in the background. Which is fine. It's a, it's a conversation starter. So it was the uh, yeah, we were watching like the dangers of ecstasy as told by like the U.S. Navy. But like it, a 13-year-old girl in the U.S. Navy. I was for some reason. and she was being stretched in weird ways. I'm like, yeah, he sounds good. Like. This looks fun. All Comic Sans. Like it was. It was a fun little film. She's being stretched. And then in Bruce goes. Ways. Bruce shouts, <laughs> "It's up!" And then he's, <laughs> he's frantically trying to pull. Everybody it off dives to their phones. Uh, but yeah. Then so yeah, we had the Chromecast set up, and we just all sat there. And it, it did the weird thing where it was playing at like 60 frames a second, so it looked kind of like a video oh, yeah. game. It was motion well, smooth. Yeah, the TVs yeah. in the hotel all had the motion blur turned way up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah but everything. we all sat there. And we're all just. We're all a little like. I think Jeff just stood up and was like, "All right, I'm out. Like I'm done. That was it. Cool. You got me. That was it. Yeah. Like and then." Everyone immediately tried buying their tickets. Uh, we, 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 I made a much more undignified sound than that, but I guess nobody heard it. It was kind of a whimper, yeah. I was kind of like, uh. Yeah, that uh. was it. Uh, it's it's as though your spirit came instead of your body. Does does everyone here have tickets already? No, I refuse to participate. Absolutely. I refuse to participate in the like, opening day, like, clusterfuck so, seating frenzy. They're already, they're already going I for $1,000 on eBay. I wasn't participating. I'm awesome. right. pulling everyone... my shitty kid who doesn't care about yeah. it out of school to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that you she can, can go. You can sell those tickets now. Just sell those tickets. Give I them sell away. her ticket. It reminds um, me when I... Oh, sorry to tell you off. No, I was, I was just going to say... I was gonna say everyone was frantically trying to do it, and obviously like Fandango or different websites were down. Right. But then like later tonight, later in the same night, I got a text from my wife, and she's like, "Hey, I bought I bought tickets to the ArcLight 7 p.m. Star Wars on Thursday." And I was like, "How?" She's like, oh, "I just went on. I just did it." Like no one was actually going to specific websites like that right. to like buy tickets. They were all trying to use one application, and Fandango apparently was not prepared this, this for it. This is the first time though where I feel like a film was like an iPhone event where it's like, mm. it's like, and you can buy it today. Mm. And it's like, everyone's like, oh shit, I gotta buy it. Like, yeah, when did this, when did the scarcity of tickets become a thing? Like that, they're gonna have 18 show times an hour. Like, yeah. you're I think fine. It, I think it's really interesting uh, that we have passed an age of, um, you know, we've, we've got TiVos now. So theoretically, like we don't have to sit and watch an episode of whatever it is when it comes out. But we've sort of transitioned from, we've gone even further away from that where TV and movies are so important now that you do have to watch immediately, or else when you come into work, uh, like everyone's gonna be talking about Star Wars on Monday, uh, the Monday after the, the movie comes out. So I have to Friday. see it. I have to see it that weekend, or else like I'm just mm -hmm. not gonna be able to talk to anybody at work. I think it's really interesting that like you say, it's like a nice excuse to not see it, to not have to talk to anybody, to not have to go into work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Bruce, I'm taking that Monday off. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Bruce is going to be watching it for the fifth time, so um, he won't be there either. So I, I remember I went to a midnight release for it was one of the Harry Potter movies, and like all my friends in college wanted to go. I was like, oh, we're going to go see the, the, the Goblet of Talons or something. You know what higher. it is. Yeah, don't don't act pretend. Like you know it was the fourth one.